Hello my dear friend, here I'm going to differentiate this function f of x equals to cos ax by the first principle method. Uh, one of my friends called steel and blood, <laughs> that, that's his username, it's really funny. From United Kingdom, he has been trying to solve this, but got some problem. Okay, no problem, so let's do it, alright? So, uh, as usual, we, we, we're going to solve this problem, you know. Uh, let's say our function here, let, you can go by f of x also, or simply you can suppose let y equals to cosine of ax and then let's suppose uh, delta x and delta y are small increment in x and y so therefore what we can write y plus delta y equals to cosine of a x plus delta x because there is a small increment in this particular x and this particular y alright so in the next step what I can write I can write delta y equals to cosine of ax plus a times delta x and this y will go into another side minus and y alright and instead of writing this y I can write cosine of this ax alright so I'm writing there cosine of ax and in the next step delta y equals to uh, here see we have a, a, a formula that's called cosine of c minus cosine of d equals to minus 2 sine c plus d by 2 sine c minus d by 2 this formula we're going to use uh, so that we can further work out here alright so it will be now minus 2 sine c plus d this whole thing is as a c working as a c and this will be working as a d so c plus d that is ax plus a times delta x plus ax divided by 2 times sine c minus d that is ax plus a times delta x minus ax divided by 2 all right and uh, my dear friend here you can cancel few things uh, just two things plus ax and minus ax and in the next step we can write delta y equals to minus 2 sine uh, this ax and this ax will be twice of ax plus a times delta x divided by 2 times sine uh, this a times delta x alright so it's a times delta x uh, divided by 2 okay and uh, as we used to do in the previous videos we used to divide both sides by delta x and then we used to take limit as a delta x tends to 0 alright so first let's divide uh, both sides by delta x we'll get now delta y over delta x equals to minus 2 sine a times delta x divided by 2 I just wrote that part first alright and now I'm going to write this part that is uh, sine twice of ax plus a times delta x divided by 2 and then whole thing divided by x as usual you know uh, we used to take limit after this uh, so we have to use the limit formula that is angle tends to 0 uh, sine of the angle divided by the angle equals to 1 we are going to use this formula into the next step so we have to uh, we have to configure our question uh, according to that all right uh, see here sine whatever the angle divided by angle we should we should get there to use proper formula all right so that's what I'm going to do but before that I'm going to take limit taking limit as delta x tends to 0 we get limit delta x tends to 0 delta y divided by delta x equals to now again limit and then now this minus 2 is a constant so let me take outside and then limit delta x tends to 0 press this part alright it's sine a times delta x divided by 2 divided by this delta x I'm writing just below that but our angle is here limit angle tends to 0 alright when angle tends to 0 sine of the angle divided by the angle it should be but it's just delta x and here our, our angle is a times delta x divided by 2 so I'm dividing uh, what do you say I'm multiplying by a by 2 here uh, to the denominator and in the same time I'm multiplying in the numerator also by a by 2 okay and uh, one more one more thing let me tell you my friend uh, when delta x tends to 0 you know it's just uh, as an information then that time a times delta x also tends to 0 because this is itself almost close to 0 then whenever you are multiplying by any number that that will definitely close to get 0 you know a by 2 alright it's some constant it's almost 0 so so 
doesn't matter all right so this whole thing is is very close to zero so here i'm directly writing a times delta x divided by 2 tends to zero now all right and let's work for these guys sine twice of ax plus uh, a times delta x divided by 2 only all right and now let's put the values let's ensure the value of delta x tends to zero so that time you know this thing will convert to dy over dx all right and it's minus two times this things is going to give me uh one except this a by two all right because uh, limit angle tends to zero sine of the angle divided by angle that's one and this a by two is here a by two and then uh the turn of this it's sine twice of ax plus since delta x is zero so you can say a times zero divided by two and further our dy over dx this two and this two will cancel up and you are going to get a times sine uh, 2ax divided by 2 and again you can cancel this 2 2 so finally what you can say that derivative of y and our y is cosine of ax look at the question itself yes y is cosine of ax so derivative of cosine of ax with respect to x is and this minus I'm leaving so let me put here minus minus a sine ax and that's our solution by the way my dear friend you can solve this question uh, by this uh, this formula also you, you might be saying hey Anil why didn't you solve this question by this formula f of x equals to limit h tends to zero uh, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h and my dear friend you can do by this and if you're uh, if you're using this formula if you're applying this formula then after application of this formula you'll directly come to this point you know to this point or you say or or you say directly you'll come here you know uh, means after application of formula you know you'll be this one and then you'll apply this formula and finally you'll get this i mean just just a way you know whether you're directly using this formula method or by doing this both are same so do not get confused i hope you understand this question how to solve a similar type of the other question also by the first principle method if there is any more confusion or any doubt then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely get back to you and uh, i wish that you will hit the like button all right bye bye